Hi, this is Christian from the Walk Coffee Lab, and today we're going to be making a cappuccino. So I've been roasting coffee for about six years. Um, I started off drinking like instant coffee, and it was terrible. And wasting too much time on the internet, I discovered that you know there's a wide world of coffee out there, and you know I, everybody was like, fresh roasted coffee is the best, and a, and a French press is the best way to, to brew coffee. And um, I ended up taking a plunge and opened my coffee shop about a year ago. And here we are. So we use Brazilian beans for our espresso. Uh, Brazil, Brazilian beans are traditionally used for espresso bases. Some coffee producers, some coffee roasters, they, they add other origins to the, to the Brazil to add different flavor notes, but we really like the the flavor profile of this Brazil. It really cuts through the milk and, and it adds a very bold, nutty flavor to the, to the coffee. Today we're gonna to be making a cappuccino. First step in making a cappuccino is the espresso. This is, we're gonna weigh out some coffee and it goes in this. This is a portafilter. It's a receptacle for the coffee. So we're weighing out 14 grams of coffee here. Now we're gonna tamp it. And what tamping does is ensure there's a nice level surface for the coffee to extract. A level surface ensures even extraction so you don't get any weird funky flavors or anything in the espresso. I'm gonna put the cup under and we're gonna pull the shots. So you'll notice there's a nice smooth flow down the middle and that's because the coffee is level and all the water converges into one point. And if you look here, you see there's a nice brown layer on top, this is called a crema. What it is, it's a layer of emulsified oils um, that floats on top of the coffee. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some steamed milk on top of the crema and it's going to float on top of the crema and we're going to create some latte. So we're steaming four ounces of milk. And uh, what that means is we have a one to two ratio of espresso to milk. Um, you can use different ratios, but we find that one to two gives a very nice balanced uh, cappuccino. It's not too coffee forward, not too milky or anything like that. And it, it mixes well. Now we're gonna groom the milk. The milk is a little too foamy, so we're gonna try to get rid of some of those bubbles. I'm gonna swirl the milk. Tap it lightly to break the bubbles. So steaming the milk does two things. It creates something called microfoam. So really tiny bubbles, uh, not like the large bubbles that you normally accustomed to if you heat up milk. What the microfoam allows is to create art on top because it's a nice, um, it forms a nice velvety layer. And the other thing that steaming does, it breaks down lactose into galactose and glucose. So there's free glucose floating around in the milk, and the milk is naturally sweeter. So you pour. Here we have a cappuccino 